Here's a problem. You are given three bags to choose from. One has two gold coins, one has two silver coins, and the last one has one gold coin and one silver coin. Let's say you select one bag and pick one coin. The coin turns out to be gold. You have not seen the other coin in the bag. What is the probability of the other coin being gold? Well, clearly the probability of picking the bag with two silver coins, the bag with one gold and one silver coin, and the bag with two gold coins is the same, one third. Now the probability of picking a gold coin from these bags is respectively zero, one half, and one. Since the first coin we picked is gold, we can rule out the bag with two silver coins. So you are left with two options. Either you pick the bag with one gold and one silver coin, in which case, after picking out the only gold coin, you will have a silver coin left in the bag, or you could have picked the bag with two gold coins, and if you picked one out, you will have another gold coin inside the bag. At this point, you might be tempted to say that the probability of the other coin in the bag being gold is one half, but that is not the right answer. Remember, the probability of picking a gold coin out of the bag with one gold and one silver coin is just one half, whereas the probability of picking gold from the bag with two gold coins is one. So after observing the first coin to be gold, we can be a bit more certain that we pick the bag with two gold coins. Enter Bayes' theorem, which formalizes this line of reasoning using a simple mathematical equation. The probability of a belief being true, given some evidence, is equal to the probability of finding that evidence given the belief is true, times the probability of the belief being true before the evidence came along. Then we divide that by the probability of finding the evidence. In our case, we are updating our belief about the bag being the one with two gold coins, as only then can the second coin also be gold. The evidence we have is the first gold coin. So if we restate Bayes' equation for our problem, we are finding the probability of the bag being the one with two gold coins. Given that the first coin is gold, that is equal to the probability of picking a gold coin from that bag times the probability of picking the bag with two gold coins in the first place, divided by the probability of picking a gold coin. Remember, you pick the bag randomly, so the probability of picking the bag with two gold coins is one-third. Also, with some thought, we can conclude that picking a gold coin out of the bag with two gold coins is one. Duh. Finally, we are left with the probability of picking a gold coin initially. Well, we had two silver coins in one bag, one gold and one silver in another, and two gold coins in the last bag. So in total, three gold coins and three silver coins. Therefore, the probability of picking gold would be three over six, or one half. Putting that all in, we can calculate the probability of the other coin in the bag being gold to be two-thirds. Did you get that right at the beginning? Put it in the comments.